So here we have a simplification problem. Tan squared x degrees times cos squared x degrees. We're asked to simplify that, showing all our working. There are two formula that you usually need when you're doing these simplification questions. Tan x is the same as sin x over cos x and sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. Those of you that are familiar with the unit circle, it's just a circle centre at the origin with radius 1, will be aware that if you have a line centred at the origin, so length 1, turning, starts off at the x-axis, turns an angle of theta, then this point at the end of that line has coordinates cos theta, sine theta. In other words, if we make up a little right angle triangle there, this side is cos theta, and this side is length sine theta. It's a right angle triangle. So this first relation, the tan opposite over adjacent sine theta over cos theta, you can see that in this little right angle triangle. And the sine squared plus cos squared being 1, that formula comes from using Pythagoras in that right angle triangle. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. Anyway, if you're not familiar with that, forget about it. These are the two formula that you should be concentrating on. Now I would think in this case when we've got tan squared times cos squared well, let's just write out what this means. Tan squared x is tan x times tan x and cos squared means cos squared x means cos x times cos x. Now I think this first relationship up here that tan x is the same as sine x over cos x is going to be the one where, where it will be useful here. So if we replace this tan x by a sine x over cos x and we replace this tan x by a sine x over cos x Remember these cos x's are, if you like, on top of fractions. Then, since we're multiplying these, on the top line there will be sine x, sine x, cos x, cos x. That's the top of the fraction. And on the bottom of the fraction will be a cos x times a cos x times a 1 times a 1. Which doesn't make any effect on these. And we can cancel cos x into cos x. It goes once. Cos x into cos x. Both of these cancel. And what we're left with? Sin x times sin x over 1, which is just sin x times sin x. And the shorthand way of writing sin x times sin x is sin squared x. So we've simplified tan squared x times cos squared x. Now there are shorter methods of that would be acceptable. You could just immediately replace tan x by sine squared x over cos squared x. I think you'd get away with that. And then these cos x times cos x and the cos x times cos x cancel out so you'd be left with sine squared x. It's very brief but hopefully this you can understand that the rules of multiplying fractions and cancelling off common factors between the numerator and the denominator all that that you're familiar with in normal fractions works uh, with these trig fractions. So sine squared x 
is the answer.